happy and I'm fucking coked up. I'm partying, you know, mm. I'm living high on the hog. Got these two vests on maybe, right? And I thought I, <laughs> dude, I thought I heard something outside, right? Which is kind of weird to even think of when you have a blender going, right? So I leave out of my apartment to go in the hallway, lock myself out with the blender going. <laughs> 2 30 in the morning, coked up out of my brain, right? <laughs> now I have to go to my landlord, dude, uh, who lives right down the hall oh, no. and tell him like, hey man. 2 30 in the morning, I'm, I got locked out. Locked and the blender's out and on, the blender's son. Going. Oh my God, he must've hated you. Oh, the blender shorts out and smoke happens. The fire uh, <sighs> alarm starts going off in the building right as I'm at his door knocking, right? Oh, my God. So now he's pissed, and he's like, what's going on? And I didn't know what to say. I told him that I was throwing a late Christmas party, dude. <laughs> it was fucking <laughs> end of January. How old were you at the time? <laughs> huh? Oh, this is two and a half years ago. So I was 35. <laughs> I was 35. <laughs> Bro. So he so, comes back to my apartment, right? He's fucking uh, pissed. He unlocks the door. There's nobody in there. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm like, man, but that's it. It was fun. Oh, my God. That was fun. How long did you live there for? I still live there. Whoa. Yeah, we've passed. I mean, we've kind of... <laughs> You know, like I've caught him doing some things. So I, think, I, think, I think we're all even. <laughs> oh, oh. How long have you been sober for? Hey, please smash that like button for my good friend, Quantum Stellar. Remember? It's the holiday season, so make a small donation if you can. He could really use the help. That's paypal.me slash Quantum Stellar. Uh, two year, in two weeks, it'll be two years. What was the big thing where you like, I got to get my shit together? You know, I was going on Opie and Jim when the Opie and Jim Norton had a radio show at Sirius. And it was actually on, uh, it's on Ari's that show that he had, This Is Not Happening. Um, and I ended up uh, doing coke all night driving a taxi. I was in a taxi. The driver, this dude Luigi, um, got me an escort. I didn't want to escort. We're doing cocaine in like Harlem or something, North Harlem. You and the cab driver doing coke. And I just had, I was taking a cab from a party to my hotel. And so we end up off on this other excursion. Next thing you know, I'm driving the taxi. He's in the back with the hooker. It's 5.30 in the morning. And I got to be on the radio station at, you know, 6.30 or something. So I get to the radio and I can't even talk. And, uh, and Daryl Strawberry is the other guest, right? Who's the baseball player. Who also had drug problem but he's like 13 years sober and so it was this weird moment where like i thought i was kind of cool but then here's a man who like i'd always in my head maybe somewhere thought oh that guy's like a coke head but right. then here he is eloquent put together successful and here i am i can't even talk and i'm with two men that i admire um you know opie and jim norton just to be honored to be on the show you know and so i was like this is i'm I'm not making choices like there's some there's some unevenness here, you know. And so what did you do after that? Join a 12 step program? Join a 12 step program, yeah. <clears throat> and then so yeah, so I've been in that then. Since then it's helped me out, you know. Well, I would definitely say don't do coke. Yeah. The problem with drugs is they're all under the same blanket, right? You know, when someone says drugs, you think of everything. You think of pills, you think of smoking it, you think of coke, you think of pot, you think of mushrooms think of everything yeah but obviously they're not all the same thing you know it's weird to call them all drugs yeah they, they affect you very differently 100 percent. i don't think if you did mushrooms you would all of a sudden be doing blow and you know yeah i don't think so driving either luigi's cab again right i don't think so either so but i think but I, I wouldn't want to be the guy that told you to do right. it either <laughs> no i don't feel like you are but you know i feel like it's something that i think about sometimes and um, but I, you know, I don't know. Cause I also do want to have experiences where like, I'm able to get, you know, unique experiences out of my, out of my mind and think about other stuff. And like, you know, I do remember times where mushrooms would just clear my conscience. It would be like someone came up to the chalkboard where everybody written all these math problems and bullshit and somebody yeah. drawn a dick and somebody fucking cutting off somebody's head, just stupid shit right. and just cleaned it all off. And you're like, Oh no, I think so too. It was relaxing. Mushrooms forgive you. Oh, they wow. forgive you for your mistakes. I mean, this is one of the reasons why, um, like, mushrooms and Jesus are always kind of connected in folklore mm. and a lot of people's ideas. It's because they're both very forgiving. 
like, here's the best Jesus story of someone being forgiving. <clears throat> God damn, I'm coughing a lot. It's the weed. Um, there was a guy named General Butt Naked. You ever heard of that guy? Mm-mm, real man? Yeah, he lived in Liberia. Mm-hmm. And he's a, a famous character in Liberia because of uh, his exploits when he was in, in the middle of war. He would... Uh, he would go and and fight naked. Oh wow! And he was a cannibal. He would kill innocent children mm. on the other side and to eat pieces of their heart. And he believed that mm. it would protect him in battle. And talks about it openly. After doing this, he found Jesus. And he came on <coughs> here. He, is this him? I guess so. Yeah. Did you have him no, on the here? Actual, actual I photos I of him. Know there was photos of him. I didn't know either. Um, so then he became. He, I mean, he's killed thousands of people, oh, he's... apparently, in, in war. And then, uh, according to what he said, and then afterwards became a preacher and talks openly about the fact that he's, like, killed innocent children and eaten mm. pieces of their heart. But people forgive him because he's a preacher. So his love of Jesus is so complete that people forgive him to the point where they forgive the fact that he ate kids. Wow! You imagine? Mm-mm. That's powerful. <coughs> I can't stop coughing. That's powerful. If he was, if he was your, if it was your kid that this guy ate, then you see him out preaching now. I'd be pissed like, off, bro. You ate my kid. Yeah, he ate his heart. The fuck? But that was a different time. Yeah, I was a different man. Yeah, it's crazy. The the the, the we'll traveler's guy. I forget what it's called. The vice travel guy to Liberia. It is a really. <clears throat> really eye-opening um sort of a view into what liberia is like mm. right liberia is a really really poor dangerous part of africa mm. that was originally when slaves left america when they were set free they went back to liberia and that's where they settled fuck yeah dude africa's always fucked up huh yeah that sucks man <clears throat> yeah that's why um all these wild animal stories from Africa. It's like, there's another one that was kind of interesting. These poachers got eaten by a lion. They uh, tried to get a hold of a rhino. They were trying to steal this, kill this rhino and cut its horns off. Mm-hmm. They tried to sell them and they just got eaten. That's crazy, dude. Dude, that's the way to go. If you could get an animal organ put into your body, would you do it? What would be the benefit? What would know. you get? I'd do something nuts. Would you get light. like a hyena butt? One of them big shiny <laughs> I already, butts? I already, I, already, <laughs> I already have the butt of a Down syndrome boy, so I don't know what I would get, man. I would probably get just something. I'd start off with something small, probably. Like, you what? know, a wrist or something. Like or like a, a, a pinky nail of a leopard. <laughs> oh, dude, that would be fucking sexy. How great would that be? <laughs> Once they do start splicing.